They tried patching it, but we have a new way to pile up zombies behind boats on Terminus. And no, you do not need to buy Melee Macchiato. Now, if you need someone to help with this, you can hop in our Discord where we have over 8,000 people looking to glitch, level up and grind XP. So hop on in. Okay, step one, do the first three power generator objectives like you usually would. Just run to each power generator, power it up and protect it from zombies. Now that you're in the main facility, have a friend keep a crawler to make this next bit easier. Head down to the bottom and next to the Melee Macchiato perk, there will be the boat station. Hop in the boat, move it to the side like I do here, and then pay the 500 to spawn in a new boat. Move this boat out of the way just to make life easier and then shoot it and blow it up. Step two. Now, jump in the initial boat you moved out of the way and drive it up onto land. Don't drive full speed at the platform. Speed doesn't get it on land any easier. The trick is to slowly accelerate and gently and slowly steer from left to right. Eventually, the boat will be up. From here, just run and slide into it until you get it into position up against the stairs. If you slide into the engine and it directly hits a wall, the boat will take damage, so be careful. You don't want the boat to blow up until it's in place, otherwise it will not be movable again. But once it's in place, feel free to blow it up. Okay, step three, wait two rounds and play like normal. Otherwise, when you attempt this next part, there's a chance the giant tentacle monster will show up and destroy your boat. Now you've waited two rounds, head to the docks, move the boat, spawn a new boat and blow up the boat you initially moved. Drive the spawned boat out of there and back to the glitch spot. Carefully drive it up onto land, slide into it to get into position and then blow it up. Now, if you've done this right, you will notice that no zombie can get past your destroyed boats and you can proceed to blast them and get XP. And if you run out of ammo, there's an ammo crate right next to you. When special zombies show up, just keep away and fire from a distance so you don't get shot or grabbed. If you need to do some upgrades, just throw a grenade to make a crawler and then head off. You can jump over the boats with no issue. So if that helps, drop me a like and a subscribe to help me out too. Now I'll leave you with my footage so you can see it working. Thanks for watching. Well, that was nuts. Chopper gunner or a mutant injection? I've got a chopper gunner. Right. I'll use the mutant injection at the end then. So then I can target the specials and you can just spray down everything. Every perk. Not every perk, but I can always grab those. Well, I still need to pop this, so I'll do it now. Yeah, right, we'll do it after. Uh... There you go. Nice. We'll do it after this raid. We'll get yep. a run or a crawl up, and we'll just go and grab everything we need. Yep, yep. I mean, I've I got perk garlic at the beginning, so I've been good. Oh yeah, you. So I was hanging on to that still, so I thought I might as well pop it for it.
Yeah. I don't know. When's the next? Uh, when's the next week? When's the next week? Thirty-six, I think. You will take no damage. You'll still be able to get power-ups, but this way you'll be able to max out weapons, camos, and easily get yourself to round 999 on Liberty Falls. And here is how you do it. Step one, choose Ether Shroud as your field upgrade and equip the Burst Dash Augment on it. Also choose anywhere but here as one of your gobble guns. Two, okay, you're going to want to play the game up until you at least have Pack-A-Punch one, the Anywhere But Here Gobblegum, and Melee Macchiato. I'll explain why later. If you still haven't unlocked your field upgrade, you can just run through the bowling alley route, up these stairs, and when you turn around facing the bowling alley, you can shoot this little statue to trigger a full power power-up. Step three. Now you have everything you need, head over to the groundskeeper shack here on the map, put your back up against the door, and now trigger Ether Shroud whilst pushing back into the door. You will phase into the shack and zombies can no longer hit you. You'll be able to shoot them. You can still grab power-ups just by jumping at the door, but eventually you are going to run out of ammo in the later rounds, which is why I recommended getting Melee Macchiato, so you can easily punch the zombies when you're low on ammo. To leave the shack, you can either use the Anywhere But Here Gobblegum, or you can save and quit and load back in. You can't phase back out. If you have plenty of the gobblegums to spare, you can keep popping them between rounds to upgrade your equipment and grab ammo. Now, all that's left to do is like and subscribe for more zombies content. So I'll leave you with my footage so you can see it all in action. Thanks for watching.
Thank you. 
They tried patching it, but we have a new way to be completely invincible and take zero damage from zombies. They'll still target you and you can just stand there with no issues. Before we get into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to one of my Discord admins, Lewis the King, who jumped in the game with me to get this done. So if you want to be the first to learn about glitches and strategies, or just want people to help you with this glitch, join the 8,000 players in my Discord at discord.gg forward slash gaming exploits. So this will require one person to leave the game and the other one to three players to stay. But that fourth player can again join afterwards and everyone is going to need to be equipped with specific augments. So the person leaving will need the phalanx augment equipped on their frenzied guard field upgrade and they will also need a frag grenade. For anybody staying behind and playing the game in god mode, they will need the Juggernog Augments, Turtle Shell and Hardened Plates equipped. It would also be very helpful for them to have the Repair Boost Augment equipped on their Frenzied Guard Field Upgrade and they won't actually have to have the Frenzied Guard equipped, they can literally pick any Field Upgrade they want. Okay, step one, so you're going to want to play the game up until the person leaving has the Field Upgrade ready to use and everyone staying has purchased the Juggernog perk. Step two, have the person with the Frenzy Guard field upgrade to activate it near everybody else. Cook a frag grenade until they go down and then quit out of the game before Frenzied Guard runs out. Step three, now everybody left in the game will be in God mode. Whilst you can get your plates broken if you're hit from behind, they will get refilled every time you kill a zombie. And you can always just counteract that just by backing into a corner like this. Now, all that's left to do is like and subscribe for more Zombies content. Now I'll leave you with my footage so you can see it all in action. Thanks for watching. Just pop a plate on. Yeah, I'm God mode. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Why don't you get in the corner here? I'm all good, thank you. Okay. I'm not sure if it pulls me out of it or not. 